Practical SQL Server 2012 Administration and Programming Select Statement Date and Time String and Math System Functions Let's pay attention to date and time functions first. First of all, there are a number of new features in SQL Server 2012 related to date and time. For example, the parse function and uh, this gives an error when parsing this string date using US culture English and if it's a valid date it does the conversion the revolutionary two new system functions try convert and try parse why are we revolutionary because we can check data we can check million rows and uh, turn into null the invalid dates for example so this way we can filter data of invalid dates uh, we can cleanse data very easily in the past we just got an error that uh, not a valid date and we didn't know where it was it was uh, not so easy to find it the is date function was uh, helpful but uh, that was uh, that required an extra step for example 2014 January 32 is an invalid date so we should get a null and we can use it in the following way and we change it to 31st which is a valid date and it returns it try parse returns null try parse returns the date and here is a combination of try parse and parse with case expression there is a new format function so we don't have to use convert to do the formatting we can use the format and here are a number of variations the format string is very flexible can be configured in many many ways so we have much more control over formatting when using convert with uh, predefined style numbers and the related formats we can format time only if we want it also we can uh, format in foreign languages this is German this is Hungarian and uh, this way because SQL Server 2012 format supports uh, many foreign cultures date and time formatting can be done in a more productive manner than before well even uh, before format we can uh, do string assembly so practically we can format it any way we wanted it but it is simpler to use a format function another new function date from parts date time from parts and end of month get date is getting the current system date it is the same as current timestamp let's just run this query this is a union all query 
execute and this is the result set data function date diff function and this is the convert with the style numbers no century this one has century same for these and here are the century formats as we see the style number jumps to 100 and continues from there let's check out some special style number 126 is um, ISO format so this is the international format this is with time zone and 130 is Arabic date and same for 131 two style numbers string function let's check out the new string functions new to SQL Server 2012 concat for concatenation the alternative is using the plus sign without any function name like in addition the format function in this instance currency format and the culture is US try convert try convert uh, returns null if it cannot convert parse function and try parse similar to try convert returns null if it cannot parse the data pet index is a pattern search function let's see how it works this is the result set was searching for ensure so this is uh, an entire paragraph so we may not see the word in it we see it here and searching for four wildcard so we should get some results since 4 very likely is in the paragraph we may not see it soundex is uh, to identify different spelling of the same word this is these are good examples so let's see what is the soundex so for example soundex of the uh, first two is the same and the difference is very small similarly for the two different spelling of Smith date functions date add date diff between date difference between order date and due date and date name and date part functions execute following is the demonstration of programming logic with a while loop in T-SQL this is a time delay loop execute well we don't see much difference so let's improve upon uh, this loop 
And this is the improved version. We are using wait for delay, one second, and we are looping uh, three times. So let's execute it, and uh, we see that the execution took three seconds, and we can see the start time and the end time, the difference is three seconds. Math functions, when you use the log, can take a second operator, which is the base. This is uh, an example for using the rand function and the floor function. Let's execute it. Ninety-nine rows. In the following query, we are using uh, the ceiling function. The new ID function generates a random, unique ID and a checksum function and the rand function. These are all math functions. So let's see what we get and these are the random numbers 1000 in fact 10,000 random numbers the range itself is between 1 and 1000 this is a power function This is the square of 12, and this is a cube of 12. Example from Northwind using the L trim and uh, R trim. So this gets rid of the spaces on the left and right trim on the right. Let's execute it. There are a great number of uh, math functions, also not so many, but string functions. Where are they all located in case we have to list them? Well, we have uh, metadata information about functions. So these are the system functions, and these are the date and time functions date add to add for example five days to a date date diff to get the difference the difference can be day it can be hour between two dates date name is um, to get the name of a day for example Tuesday date part to get part of the date such as year gets the day of the year, get date is the system date, this is the universal system date, is date checks if a date is valid, month gets the month of a date, sys date time is the same as get date, and year gets the year of a date. Let's check out the math functions. Quite a big list. This is arc cosine function with the inverse of cosine, arc sine, arc tangent, arc tangent 2, ceiling function, cosine, cotangent, degrees, exponential 4, log log 10, pi, the power function, radians. Rand, round zero sine, this is sine plus one or minus one is the result to check the sine of a value and this is the sine trigonometric function square root square and tangent. Let's check the string function ASCII returns the ASCII value of a letter char uh, makes a character uh, out of uh, an ASCII value like 65 is capital A char index is a search function 
differences were sound x difference, left part of a string, length of a string, to make a string lowercase, to eliminate spaces on the left, to turn a Unicode number into a character, pet index is search, quote name, can put quotes or brackets around names, replace a character with a different character, replicate to generate a, a sequence of the same character, reverse a string, get the right part of a string, trim spaces on the right, sound x if a word if a words sound the same or different space generates spaces string converts a number to string stuff puts a new character in place of a uh, current characters, substring gets part of a string, unicode returns the integer value for that unicode character, upper changes the string into uppercase. System functions in general are very important to add lots of power to the T-SQL language. They have the productivity as well when we are developing a, a database system. Frequently a query has uh, more than one kind of system function, may have three different type of uh, system functions. Recapping, we have reviewed some of the date and time functions, a math and uh, string functions, and there are new date and time functions in SQL Server 2012. Also, there is one new math function, and uh, there are new string functions as well. So programming style will change with SQL Server 2012 because something which required uh, uh, an effort to do it in the past, uh, we had to set up uh, complicated expressions, can be easily done in SQL Server 2012. This is the end of the unit.